Hello and welcome back. And uh, in this video, we're gonna look at stack implementation array based. Okay, so I have REPL open. And what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna create a new file here. I'm gonna call this one array stack. Okay, and uh, basically uh, we're gonna use array as a backing for our stack. That's what array stack means. Uh, reason we are naming it array stack because we're going to create another class called array uh, called stack and we don't want to like name conflict between those two okay so let's create a class um, array stack okay first we're gonna uh, create our uh, backing variable so private var stack and let's say we want to actually have the stack of type int Okay, now that's going to be our stack. Basically, this is going to be the array where uh, we're going to uh, push and pop our operations. Now, if you remember from slides, there are three operations that we have. We have push that takes data, does not return anything. We have pop, which removes data that returns uh, the type, so basically the int. And then we have peak, right? And that returns an int as well. In addition to that, we're also going to create is empty to figure out if uh, the stack is empty. And this is going to return a boolean. There we go. So let's start putting stuff into this. So first of all, um, because this is an array, right? Uh, the uh, operation, if you remember from the slide, uh, stack uh, pushes from the top and uh, removes from the top. So when, when we are pushing, we can simply say, uh, because this is an array, we can simply say uh, stack dot append, right? And append operation actually adds an element at the end of the array, okay? Um, now, this is very simple, uh, but the pop operation is going to be uh, basically where the main uh, uh, the main uh, uh, strategy is going to go where where to remove it from because this is an array so we have like you know wide wide variety of like things to do with it we can access it by index and stuff like that well there is uh, something that we want to do first we want to check if a stack is empty right so we can check um, if our array is empty if it is um then uh, we can say return negative one if it's not empty then we can simply say uh, return uh, remove the last element and return that okay because we are appending at the last or we are adding element at the last uh, the most recent element is going to be at the end of the um, at the end of the array so let's say if your array was one you insert it two so Two is appended at the end. So when you remove, you want to remove the last element. So your uh, our stack uh, becomes one. Okay. So basically, last in is two, and first out is going to be two as well. Okay. So we're going to do remove last. Okay. That's going to give us uh, the uh, element that's at the end, and it's also going to remove that element uh, from the uh, location, that way keeping our stacks uh, pop operation, okay? Now peak is something where you don't remove the element, you just peek at it, you just look at it. Uh, it's also known as top sometimes, so you can call it peak or top, like, you know, top element in the stack. Uh, we're gonna do the same check here. We're gonna say, uh, if the stack is empty, return negative one, Otherwise, return stack dot last. Now you might wanna uh, force unwrap this one. Uh, this is Swift only thing. Like you know, you might, might wanna force unwrap because uh, this can return nil. And uh, we know we are checking for is empty. If it's empty, then it's gonna return negative one. So we are uh, pretty safe for unwrapping this, uh, saying that like you know, there is an element and we can return that. Okay. Now, last does not remove items uh, from the array. It's, uh, it just returns the item uh, from the array, okay? Empty is empty is actually simple. Uh, you simply uh, say 
uh, stack dot is empty. Okay. And there you go. That's your stack. So if you go ahead and uh, go to your main and start using it, let's say create a variable called stack from array stack type, and you say stack dot push. So let's start. Uh, let's push uh, five, four, three, two, one, right? And then we're gonna get uh, this back in reverse order. So stack dot push four. Two and one. Okay, so now you can simply say while loop stack dot is empty. So while it is not empty, run this loop and uh, simply print stack dot pop. Okay, and if you run this, you're gonna notice that um, we are missing something. We are missing this. Um, okay, so as you can see, your uh, digits are returned in reverse order. So five, four, three, two, one, and you get one, two, three, four, five. Now, uh, I've seen this uh, interview question asked uh, sometimes, like, you know, uh, interviewer ask uh, that you have been given a sorted uh, array and uh, you want to uh, reverse that in single operation, okay, uh, in all of n time. So uh, when you want to reverse them, uh, you can use two pointer approach or using a building a stack and like putting it, putting them in a stack and removing them is another way of uh, doing it. Uh, just an FYI. I mean, so like, you know, swapping and two pointer approach is actually better. Uh, than uh, doing this, but there's another way to do it. Like I said, I've mentioned like a bunch of times that there are multiple solutions to an algorithm, and this could be one of those. Okay, so hope you guys um, uh, basically have clear understanding of how stack works now. So in the next video, we're gonna look at linked list based uh, approach to build a stack. And uh, we're going to understand that a little bit better because uh, the operations of stack a little bit better because um, basically this is a uh, linked list based approach. It's going to give you more understanding of how pointers and everything work. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.